Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. Welcome to the Friday segment of the video. What we're going to do in this video is focus on a feature, a minor feature, that is available in both Wunderlist and Todoist, and really try and cover the benefits of this, but also how this works in context. So the feature is in Wunderlist is Quick Add, and Todoist has a very similar feature. So let's focus on Wunderlist first. So this is available on iPhone, Mac, and Android at the moment for Wunderlist, all retrospectively in different formats, but I'm going to be demoing this on Mac. So one thing you can do is when you're using Wunderlist anywhere, you can use the shortcut that you create, so I've created Control shift p to add a task at any time. You can add a key, obviously the task information, but also dates, tags, you can add project information as well just by using the drop down and you can also star it too as well as adding reminders and uh, useful information like that and, and once you click enter it automatically adds that to your Wunderlist board. Within this feature in the quick and you can also use a feature called search which allows you to search any task you like or any project you like, any list and basically take you there which is pretty impressive so it's a sort of portal to accessing all of that content and obviously just carrying on using Wunderlist for Mac. So a very handy feature there. So you can also edit your shortcuts for Wunderlist. There are really some extensive ones here from adding uh, all the tasks and information at any given time using the shortcuts on the Mac, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's a pretty handy feature and this is available either using the shortcuts I use, as I said, Control Shift P, but you can also use it by hitting the top bar and dropping down and easily accessing it there. The one thing I've found is sometimes I had a couple of issues with entering Tom doesn't register as tomorrow. Uh, the at symbol doesn't take tags, but obviously that's just because I'm used to Todoist. Now, there are some really impressive stuff uh, that I like about this. I like that you can search uh, all of those lists as well. Really handy. I like that it takes you directly to um, Wunderlist as well, which is a really handy feature. And also, I just like the general design of it. I mean, the blue and the um, the actual calendar in the icons they're using there are quite, uh, quite like just appealing to use. So we're jumping over to Todoist now. Todoist has a very similar feature called Quick Add. Um, just a roundup of what it can do. You can add obviously priorities, uh, tags, dates. Uh, but the dates are a little smarter than the way that you input from, through Wunderlist. Um, you can add projects uh, and also uh, any other context points that you've already created inside Todoist, which is nice. You can also add, just by using the drop down, um, some comments uh, pre existing and some reminders as well uh, that, that you can go a bit deeper with. Uh, the one thing it was quite weird is when you're using the typing thing and then you do that drop down, you can't actually see what you've done so far. And that's something that Wunderlist automatically registers, but it's a pretty uh, neat feature nonetheless. It adds it straight into your uh, tasks and you can set it up using the shortcuts as well. So using the quick add and show and hide Todoist, which are pretty handy uh, shortcuts. Overall, I think the Todoist feature is a lot better, but that's because I'm a Todoist user. Um, I can't find as much value in the Wunderlist one, although it's a lot prettier and you can search, uh, which is pretty cool. I do like the star feature too, which does make the uh, Wunderlist one stand out. The Todoist one is slightly more responsive with obviously what stuff you input. And also it's a, it has the ability to drag, which is quite a cool feature. Uh, the Wunderlist one doesn't have the ability to drag, so that's a you know a bit of a pain sometimes, uh, but only small things. Anyway, guys, I hope this gave you a nice overview of what the quick add features are like on Mac for both Wunderlist and Todoist. As you can see, I'm slightly biased towards Todoist, but overall, I think the Wunderlist one is pretty impressive, nonetheless. Anyway guys, I hope you found value in this video. Drop me an email if you're using any of these and I'm looking forward to hearing about your experiences. Have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very very soon. Cheers.